All right, let's answer some super chats. Um, Drew Wittenmeyer, shave your knuckles for justice. A public option for poor means bad health care for the poor. I am bitter. I'm making a Manhattan. Love you both. I may tip. No, again, like you're this, right and enjoy that Manhattan. Oh, this. And I knew it. I knew when they were like screwing Bernie in the primary and then Bernie just quit. I was like, this is what Biden will offer is the Republicans want to get rid of Obamacare and he'll just say, we're going to try to save it. And if he get if he wins the election and becomes president, he'll just scream. We saved this bad health care plan rather yeah. again, we prevented a worse one, put Medicare for all next to what Mike Pence is saying. Just look, just right now, just earlier tonight, all Kamala had to do, if she was a real progressive, look in the camera and go, we're going to give you Medicare for all. They want to take away Obamacare. We're going to make it even better. We're going to give everybody free health care. Everyone's going to get it, especially in this pandemic. You're having, you're worried about health care costs. You're afraid to go to the doctor for other non-COVID related things like is happening. Yeah. Other issues are more heart attacks or all this stuff is happening because people are just afraid to go to the hospital for, for money and for getting COVID. And they think the hospitals are overrun. Some of them, some cities they are, you could win that hands down. Boom. Oh, big time. And big we're going to have in, we're, we're going to have flexible hospital beds ready to go for an uptick. And also if there's ever another pandemic down the road, we're going to reinstate the pandemic. You could just go boom, 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 boom. And Mike Pence would have nothing to say other than, Oh, we're best and Trump. And you know, we beat ISIS, the caliphate or whatever, like even that oh, argument, how would I, we pay for it? How will we pay for it? Um, how will we pay for it? That's all he'd have. Right. And she'd be like, and she'd be like, first of all, how can we afford not to pay for it? Right. Well, how are we going to pay for it if we don't do it? Look, look right. at what's happening right now. Look, I mean, use their own economic bullshit against yes. them. Be like, we're shut down right now. If we had health care, we, we might be in a better place. Our numbers you, are still going up. You, you look at Mike Pence and you go, so are you saying it's more important we sh to save money than save lives? So you'd rather people die so you could save money? Just be real clear on that. Like pin him on that. And he'd be like, where, wow. Where is that in the Bible? Yeah, You're Christian, really? right, Mike? Find me yeah. that in the Bible. What would Jesus have to say about that? I've read yeah. your book, Mike. I've read your book. The guy got pissed off one time, and you know what he was pissed about? Freaking capitalism. Yeah, that's what pissed him off. The one time he got pissed. I, I mean, it's so easy to knock down a blank suit like Mike Pence, <laughs> and she just—I mean, it's uh, the fact that that guy. I mean, I mean, if ever you needed evidence number 1,774,000, which the, the number's really high. I just made that actual number up. But it's a very high number on why we need to completely gut this system and right. change the face of electoral politics in this country and nothing else would do. Mike Pence went 2-0 in vice presidential debates. Holy shit. How is that possible? Like, it shouldn't unbelievable. be. Unbelievable. Um,